It was rained out in August, but Sunday afternoon, September 22nd, was a beautiful afternoon for the 6th Annual Spring Hope Fireman's Day. An estimated 250 people turned out to greet Smokey the Bear and other characters to put the bounce in the bounce house, to buy t-shirts, fire helmets, and food under the tents, and have their children fingerprinted by Spring Hope Police Chief Tim Denna. The cornhole competition was popular with children and adults. This little girl discovered that if at first you don't succeed, try again a little closer. Music for the afternoon was supplied by the East Coast Rhythm and Blues Band. Besides the steady stream of line dancing, the music gave adults plenty of opportunity for dancing one-on-one. -on -one. While the music played on, a big part of the afternoon were the firefighter skills contests. The first event was a relay which began with one firefighter putting on full turnout gear, then walking to a second firefighter who dragged the heavy hose down the course and fired a stream of water at a target until it punched open a hole. final leg of the relay, a firefighter lifted a load of hose and quickly walked in and out of safety cones up and down the course. The second competition was a tug of war. An exhibition of strength where the only water was sweat. Final competition, the incident command. A firefighter with hose was blindfolded and led to a starting point, then followed voice commands to shoot a stream of water against a teammate sitting in a plastic pool yards away, who deflected the water into the pool. Some teams had trouble giving directions <laughs> and aiming the hose, but were eventually rewarded with a nice stream of water into the bucket. The music and the competitions were fun, but the biggest reward of the afternoon, perhaps, was inspiring Spring Hope's next generation of firefighters. I'm Ken Ripley, Spring Hope Enterprise.